Good morning. I'm Shell, and Clint is actually he's out taking the trash down. So today is Friday, though I am recording this on Monday. I'm trying to stay ahead so that we we can um, keep videos going up. Never know what's going to happen. I think next week we have to. Um, Go to Pagos. I think that's when. And then before too long, we'll have that concert that we want to go to, which will be fun. Let me put together my my thing real quick. So I was making these at one point. Sorry, I'm just jabbering first thing. Um, and I put my name on it. So if anyone wants one, let me know, and I can do a special order for you. But it was really fun. It was really fun to to create, but then I never created anymore. <laughs> so let me put put a new thing on my thing so maybe it'll work. Oh, it's a little chilly. I told Clint I don't need a coat to go outside, go out to the studio. And it's really chilly. You are here with the Ramblin' Crafter. Take a minute and subscribe. We are doing, currently doing a um, all secret journal video, or um, journal. So, I have an idea for today's. I tell Clint, I think I know what I wanna do on today's video, and I think I'm gonna do it on this one. Yeah, we'll do it on this one. <clears throat> but yeah, this is for Friday. I'm trying to, I'm getting confused on <laughs> on my videos. Like which one I need to, you know, which one goes up on Friday, which one goes up on. So I am, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've been putting these little flowers out. So I know that this is one video and then another color is you know the second video because sometimes I do two or three in one um, on a memory card so I just want to make sure that um, yeah so on this one I know it's kind of odd I'm try to cut this just to the fold here just a little bit. This is the ultimate secret journaling card space that Clint came up with a while back. But I have another idea. So we're going to mess around with that. So first thing you want to do, that's a good reason not to have it sewn into a signature or into the journal. First thing you want to do is cut it down a little bit. And actually, we'll come back and cut that down. Because it's going to be a little bit... Um, my paper, I want it to end up being this size when we're done. That's why we're cutting it down. Uh, let's cut a little bit off the back. I don't want tons, but I have a new way to keep it in. When we first did this, we put like a slit in it and a tag and all this good stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and stencil on here. Remember, we figured that out, didn't we? And let's see. <clears throat> Burr, it's a little chilly. No heater last night, though. Um, the window wasn't open either. I know it's kind of odd for my brother's like, it's already in the 80s. <laughs> We're supposed to see 70s this week. But we'll see. I, think I couldn't handle the 80s already. You know, I just couldn't handle it. Nope, couldn't do it. And I did for many years. I lived in... Texas until I was 22 or 23 
and I've been in Colorado longer than that, so Colorado is my home. So let me, I just don't want all this white, so I'm going to kind of color it first, and then we'll put on the stencil just for some prettiness for you to journal or someone, me to journal, whoever. And I do want to use this, I think. I think that just makes it so much easier. You can use either one. It kind of gets in there good. But as of today, we don't have any jobs that we have to go to um, Durango for for the week. I'm sure that'll change. We always have you know, private jobs, people call a day or two in advance. There we go. I will link this stencil below. I did find it on Amazon. However, the paper, I think it's called Vintage Lace, I did not find. Um, I wrote back to the girl who asked me about it. And where I got it originally, she sold out. So I don't know if you're going to be able to find it or not. It was September when I got mine. I try to get it, you know, fairly new papers here and there. Instead of just using the ones that I've had for my entire scrapbooking career. So 20 years. <laughs> but I do try to sell those in my store. Hi, Robin. <laughs> I sold them all and I think they all went to Robin. <laughs> You're so funny. I might just send her a box of them or something. If I get rid of any more, I, you know, had to stock up because I got rid of so many. But it's kind of fun to have newer papers. There we go. Put my stuff where it belongs. I'm going to go ahead and do the edges. I think I'm going to round the corners just so it's easier when we put together our secret journaling spot. <clears throat> I don't know that this is really going to make much of a difference, but I want to do it. So, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good week. It's kind of odd to record you know, um, a week or more in advance, because I can't really, you know, tell you what's going on and stuff for the week, because I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know what happened this week. It, it's probably a good week. We'll see. Okay. grab hand sanitizing wipes. I'm going to look this up. I haven't linked it below. And I don't even know if you can get it on Amazon or not, but I really want to look because I do like that they don't dry out my skin because it's so dry here anyways. We're in Colorado and I really don't want, you know, my skin any drier than it is. Um, paper, paper napkin, tissue, oh, I got chilled, had my friends, um, heater on down here. You know what? I'm not feeling any heat. There it comes. I think I had it on fan. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, that's dried. So we're going to work on this page. You could actually um, journal on this page if you wanted to. So let's see if we can make something work. 
what was on the other page. You're not really going to see these side by side, so it doesn't really matter what's on the other side. Just see which one of these we want. But this is the um, the vintage lace paper pack that someone asked me where I got it from. I got it from ASC um, Supplies on Etsy, but she is sold out. But if you sign up for like her newsletter or something on e her email, you get like 10% off her paper pads and stuff just for future, future reference. Still don't know if light is coming or not. We talked to Ron, but like I said, he is not very patient with her and had another falling out this last week, so she might really be ready to, <laughs> to come, you know. So, okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to measure this. I think I'm going to, because it's 9 by 12, so I'm going to cut this 9 by 12. That should fit. <clears throat> but yeah, they had a, he was not happy, and they had a, kind of fallen out and he said I don't know what mom wants and we had to remind him you know mom I mean when you get older your mind slips and stuff and he needs to realize that but he has no patience at all with her so it makes me stress um because she shouldn't have to live in that you know environment and just a big hoopla. I just feel bad for her. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this. And there's some things I want to do before we glue it. So, again, Clint came up with this idea. It's the ultimate journaling spot. And this will end up sliding over this. Actually, I need to turn it, turn it the right way. So it'll be like this, but this will end up sliding over this. And my idea is I want to make sure that it lines up correctly. That looks pretty good. So I was thinking magnets. If I put one magnet here, like in the center, I think I can put one here and one here. So we end up with just three. So we're going to try that and see. But yeah, it's been a interesting time you know mom's old she doesn't need to she keeps putting something off and oh maybe we'll do it next year <laughs> it's something really you know extreme that really needs to just get done but you know you can't sit there and argue with her <clears throat> and I don't want to I don't want to argue if it doesn't get done, it won't be a major issue. Well, it will be for Ron, but not us. So. But anyway, it's just me jabbering. Just ignore me. Those of you who <laughs> can. <laughs> okay, so I do want to put something over this. So I was thinking about a circle, but I think I might just do like a square. Just maybe you know something just a little bit to to um, protect it so it doesn't fall off or whatever so I really want it to be large enough so that kind of covers that it's not very straight you will see this so I want it to look look pretty when you're okay so we're gonna Put that over there. I'm going to use fabri -Tac just because I do have the, um, uh-oh, what a mess you have, Michelle. <laughs> well, that wasn't a very smart thing to do, was it? I don't know if I have any left, but I have another bottle. 
Oh, today's starting out wonderful. <laughs> oh, geez. Geez Louise. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I think this will be, um, will stick really well to that scotch tape. That's my, my hope. I think I can pull that off since it's on plastic. Jeez. Okay, I don't want it too close to the fold. want to make sure that it's good and you know in there so that we don't have um, you know I don't want my mechanism to fall apart <clears throat> and typically when you put glue on paper you know it kind of wets it a little bit even if it's not supposed to so I like to manipulate it then when it's a little bit wet around that magnet I think it's gonna stick we'll come back to that and just punch it down a little bit okay so I'm going to put this here we're gonna put another piece of tape like this and we will try to find our other magnets go like that so if this is going to line up I want that to okay and yeah you could do it differently but this works just fine and I never have any issues these I don't have to worry about too much. <laughs> because you're not going to see them. the glue kind of sets up it'll stay in place just like that one pretty good. I love that Fabri-Tac. Okay, so this one is just going to snap in place. So the thing is, we're going to fix this like a um, slide on. So I need this one over here. There it is. And then it's going to catch that um, magnet and keep it in place yeah I think that'll work really nice so just make sure you flatten it so it doesn't like bubble up on you use something thin to lift that magnet up if you can then we can pull this magnet off 
<laughs> I'm having fun though with these magnets. I might have to get another set of them. Kind of fun to add to journals and stuff. My hands are all sticky now. Try to put this together. I'm just going to go kind of back and forth just to make sure they're all pretty well glued down. And then let me check this one to make sure it looks good. I think it does. So really I think the only one I need to worry about is this one. Let that glue kind of set up. And hopefully I can get this to work the way I want it to. Wouldn't that be perfect, though, if you could go in there and actually um, journal in there? And you could probably leave it just like that and pull it off. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to glue it, and hopefully it will still work. like a big that's why Clint called it the ultimate journaling area but you could totally do it and not sew it or whatever I'm not gonna sew it but you could sew it we're just going to make it into a uh, thing and hopefully it works Trying to get it right to the edges. My hands are shaking a little this morning. I'm getting old. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. And we're just going to glue it like this. We'll see if, I can, if it works. Because <laughs> if you noticed, it kind of, you know, glued itself together. Mac magnetized itself so the thing is this is going to give me two more places to to jump or to decorate right so just pull these apart Slide this in and hopefully it will work. Come on, you. <clears throat> might not. It might be like, Michelle, you should have just done one. You know, just to hold it in. <laughs> I think if you open it and kind of keep your hand there, maybe. There we go. So I tell you, anyone looking in your journal is not going to want to do this. And if they do, they probably won't be able to put it back together. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? Make sure it's not too tight. My hands were kind of sleeping. Oh, come on, you. There we go. It's fine. It's just my hands are a little, um, I'm not getting it in there correctly. Okay. 
can't be crooked. There we go. And I might have to come back and, you know, trim one of the edges off. That might be the better thing to do. Let's do that because I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed now. So let's just trim this real quick. Just make it a little bit smaller so that it doesn't um, catch. Because if it makes me annoyed, I'm sure it's going to make you annoyed. Then we're both going to be annoyed. Okay. We do everything that we had so it looks nice. I'm not going to worry about trimming, curling the edges. Okay, let's try that again. <coughs> and this is, it's got words on it, so that's the right way. That's how I know which one goes where. There we go. Oh, much better. And they're lined up pretty well, so they're going to snap right in place, you know. should snap right in place and you just lift it up maybe from both sides and there is the ultimate secret journaling spot and you're not really going to see it when it's sewn in so because that's going to be at the edge very simple much easier than when we first first created this I might go ahead and put this on here It's already kind of decorated on top. And this was one of the first ones we did. So you're going to pull the top one off. And then you're going to journal. Oh, this one doesn't have a... Uh, let's add one. It does not give us much room, does it? <clears throat> I'm going to add one to the back. Just a little bit more journaling space. You don't have to do this part. I was just thinking it might be easier that way. And I'm going to go ahead and score this. just gives you a little bit more area to journal. You could, you know, do like an accordion style of coffee dye paper or, you know, a smaller paper. just give us a bit more to um, a bit more room to journal on oopsie Okay, 
Then I'm just going to glue down the whole bottom half. You could use this as a tuck because you have the whole top half, you know, free or whatever. But I probably won't put anything behind it. I got a lot going on in this journal. But I like the purple. So we're just going to do it like that. And then you can just pull this off. Journal. Pull that whole thing off. And then journal under it. And then you have this part to journal. It's like a double, multiple double journaling spot. That didn't take too long, half an hour. So that's perfect. I like it. I like the page. I think it's totally done. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope it inspires you to make your own ultimate journaling spot. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.